In what might still be the shocker of the tournament, Habs prospect Oliver Kapanen scores again on a beautiful snipe to regain his lead in the tournament in goals. Jesse, we gotta talk about this, plus a note on him wanting to sign his entry-level contract with Montreal this season, and Caden Gooley gotta talk about his performance as he has another silky assist to Tanev as he shows out again for Team Canada. All of that, plus a note from Tomas Tatar on Uri Slavkovsky's performance, all coming up on this episode of Habs Digest. Without further ado, we're going to get right into it, Jesse, and we're going to start with Team Slovakia's captain, Tomas Tatar. Of course, Habs fans know him, Habs fans love him, and Slovakians love him as well. I'm sure there's a lot of Slovakian people watching this video, and he had some great comments on Uri Slavkovsky. Yeah, I did a lot of people. He said, he's fine. The pressure on him is great. It's not an easy tournament. Expectations are huge. Uri is doing a good job. It has moments when it doesn't work out. I also hit the post twice in the first three games, basically saying that, you know, some people are still being hard on Slavkovsky, even though he's got four assists in four games for Team Slovakia already, Jesse. Even though some people maybe want him to score a bit more, show that he's a little bit more dominant, he's he still looked fantastic in our opinion. Yet, like, yeah, maybe, oh, I wish he could do more, but at the same time, it's the World Championships. He's a 20-year-old, and I love the praise he's getting from the captain because, honestly, he deserves it. It's the new standard. We expect Slavkovsky to be a point-per-game player now, and he's really doing that with, you know, the four points of four games here at this tourney. But, yeah, nice to see the love from the old generation of Habs from Slovakia, Thomas Tatar, Tatar to the new generation with Uri Slavkovsky there. And Uri, one thing about him is that he loves wearing the Slovakia colors. In fact, he's built for the pressure and he loves it. You know, it's kind of funny that the colors for Slovakia, it's so like similar in a way to the Montreal Canadiens. This is somebody when he puts on that jersey, when he puts on that sweater, he wants, he takes pride in it. He wants to do everything that he can for his team. So he's really controlling a lot of the play. He, he's really doing what he can. You know, we're having fun at this tournament at the same time. But we're seeing now it's a new standard. We see what he's capable of over the second half of the last year. And we just want to see that continue because the expectations are through the roof. They are through the roof. And honestly, for someone under as much pressure as he is under, not only from Habs fans, not only from the NHL media or some other players or fans from other teams who are who are labeling him this and that, good or bad, whatever, it's the entire nation of Slovakia that's on his shoulders. And look at him. He's still performing extremely well, winning a ton of board battles. And, you know, you'll still have people complaining no matter what. Like, is he perfect? No, but he's never going to be perfect. He's still learning. He's still extremely young. Don't forget, he came into the NHL at 18 years old. This guy is now only 20. There's a lot of growth left to see there. But to hear that kind of praise from Tatar, another guy who's having a fantastic tournament, it's fantastic to see. But Jesse, we're going to get into some of the other Habs that we're playing in this tournament today. And that's Cole Caulfield and Caden Gooley. Well, we got to say there's not a whole lot to say about Cole Caulfield. It's Team USA absolutely steamrolled France 5 to nothing. The shots being 54 to 10. Yeah, that's right. France had 10 shots. Team USA had five goals. Um, unfortunately, Cole Caulfield was held scoreless again. Uh, he played almost 16 minutes, Jesse, a little bit of power play time. I'm still not really worried because in a game like this, maybe not everyone's giving it their all. Some of his line mates got some points. He didn't really get one. He had a post. I still thought he looked okay. Not really putting up the points we want, but hey, I mean, what can you do? It's a blowout to France. I'm sure we'll, he'll be he's saving some of this for the for the playoffs. But still, after he finished off this season just on a total heater lighting up the lamp, like, you you want to see that kind of continue. I'm not going to lie, Josh, like, for this game against France, I was like, okay, I want to see Cole Kauf, not just with an assist, yeah. but score the goals, because that, that's his bread and butter, right? That's what he does, sniping the puck. So we know with Cole Caulfield how it works. He just needs to get his volume. He needs to just get more shots on net, keep going, battling in front like he's been doing, showing a lot of good competition, and for sure the goals will follow. Yeah, for sure. Just just a matter of time, hoping, but yeah, you're, you're right. Like in a game like this, that many shots, you wish he would have got one, but is what it is. Move on to the next game. But one guy that did play well again today, Jesse, not in that game. It was this game. Team Canada's four to one win over Norway. Um, Norway managed six shots in this game. They didn't have a shot until the third period. Jesse, that's, that's, uh, that's, uh, uh, that's a game. But Caden Gooley, Hey, he, he played really, really well against Team Norway today, and we got some highlights for you. He had a great pass here to Brandon Tanev there. Look at this little give-and-go play that Team Canada ran. He was, again, fourth on the team in minutes, just behind Owen Power, Colton Pareko, and Dame, uh, Damon Severson. And again, Jesse, he is one of the youngest defensemen, one of the youngest players on this team. I just got that little Hulkamania thing at the end there. But Caden Gooley, his skating has been so amazing in this tournament. He's now up to five points in four games as a defenseman for Team Canada. And his his dynamic play in the offense and defensive zone. Yes, I know people were saying yesterday, we're not going to talk about his turnover that led to the goal. 
look, Team Canada won, okay? We like to focus on the positives. It hasn't been all, all positive for Gooley, but he has looked impressive. Team Canada clearly trusts him, and plays like this just, just make us a little bit happier to see him out there doing this stuff on the world stage. It's honestly so amazing to see, Josh. And that's what's standing out for me at this tournament as well, is his skating. Like, is it just me? Or is he getting faster out there? Because we know that's one of his biggest things is mobility. And I think now he's coming into his third year in the NHL. We're going to see a lot more of that. We're really going to get a good feel now. It's his third year. Where is Caden Gooley at? Is he really kind of that top line sort of guy or, you know, pairing? Or is he maybe just a, a tear down? I think he really is the ladder. He is the first there. He can be that first pairing sort of guy. But it's all about really putting it together and just really just staying healthy because we know he's yeah. an amazing player. The Montreal Canadiens need him so much. But this is a type of guy where he's been put in a lot of difficult situations and really done a great job. But you see when you kind of surround him with some talent, you give him a little bit of consistency and, and everything else in terms of partner. And this is a guy that can produce right away. So I'm really looking forward for Caden Gooley taking the next step next year with just his mobility being all over the ice and just contributing in every single way. I'm already seeing for people to, to calling for Matheson to be traded after watching Gooley at this tournament. Like, oh, you can just do the same thing. Like, let's not go that far. But again, he is improving. And hey, with a coach like Malte Saint Louis, I'm sure he's giving some advice on how to jack up those legs to get that extra little burst burst of speed, right? You know, those tree trunks of legs that I'm sure Gooley's going to have in just due time. But you're very right. His skating has been phenomenal at this tournament. He has looked so, so, like, so perfect next to these other top-tier players, and it just lends credence to the fact that we believe that he is a top-pairing guy. He, we believe he is going to be maybe not that number one, but at least that number two guy on that top-pairing. So really excited for what Gooley's done, and I'm sure you guys are too. Hey, player of the match against Team Austria. He didn't look happy when he got it, but, you know, that's probably because they blew the lead. But it is what it is. Awesome stuff. But there's another guy, Jesse, who, believe it or not, has been more impressive than Caden Gooley. That is Oliver Kapanen. Now, I'm not going to talk about the result of this game because if there's any Finnish fans, they probably don't want to talk about it either. So we'll we'll leave it. But uh, Finland lost this game. It's unfortunate. But you know who scored, Jesse? Oliver Kapanen. And guess what that means? That means he's back on top. Well, not tied with Connor Bedard anymore for number one in the entire tournament in goal scoring with six goals on 13 shots. He is amazing. We're going to play this video for you of his highlights. Look at this snipe. He just picks up the puck and top shot. This angle here is absolutely phenomenal. Shot blocked. He gets the rebound. Look at that sail into the top corner. Not to mention, Jesse, he had a hat trick just the other day that I'm going to play for you guys as well. His tips in front of the net, his ability to pick the corner, all this stuff has just been so, so good throughout this entire tournament. He is honestly shocking everyone so far. I don't think anyone expected this from him. And not only that, we got one more thing that I'm going to get to. A tweet from Luke Jelina said that young Oliver Kapanen has been having a fantastic tournament and he would like to come to an agreement with the Habs, but said currently he's focusing on the World Championship. Kent Hughes met with Kapanen's agent in Helsinki at the World Juniors. And uh, yeah, so after this tournament, they might want to talk. Kent said, we are very happy with the progression of Oliver this season. Sounds like an ELC might get signed this summer, Jesse, after this insane performance in this tournament, meaning he could join the Habs as soon as 2025-26 season. This is incredible. Kent Hughes approves for sure, right? Like, how about that shot, though? Going top cheese, glove side, right? He's tipping shots. He's winning face-offs. He's winning board battles. You know, obviously, the snipes now as well. So it just really continues, like... For me, this is the Montreal Canadiens prospect that is the most surprising yeah. for me at this tournament. We know Slav is playing great, but Kapanen is just taking it to another level. He's just really coming out of left field. And for sure, if you're Kent Hughes, you're thinking, wow, this guy would really look great in our lineup. Maybe on our third line, centering somebody that can win some face-offs, which is something, you know, obviously Suzuki's pretty good, but we want to have some improvement, especially with Kirby Dog not being the best on the face-offs. It's important having another guy there that can really do that, like Oliver Kapanen can, right? So he's just showing such a great combination of these different skills right now. And we got to remember, like, not too bad of a year last year in Liga for a young guy, 14 goals, 20 assists, you know, in a men's league. This guy is showing... He can put up some numbers here. So when you start to study his game, all this seems like a little bit less of an aberration. So you brought up something very interesting there, and that's his point production in the Liga last year. So PNHLE is a stat that basically tries to, to normalize point production in different leagues at, at different ages as prospects and what that would translate to at an NHL level in terms of points. 
his score for PNHLE, this is just based off point production, nothing else. Because we know he's got a lot of other intangibles, like you said, winning board battles, screening in front of the net, things like that, and can win faceoffs. Just based off point production in Liga, he is right around the same mark of NHL point production as someone like a Joshua Hua and Owen Beck. But that's just from the regular season. Don't forget, in the playoffs, he was tied for the entire league lead in points with seven goals, seven assists for 14 points in 13 games. He's now leading the World Hockey Championship in goals. He is honestly, like, he has shot up. Ma I don't even know how high I want to put him now at this point, Jesse, because, again, it's maybe a small sample size, but the second half of his year in Liga plus playoffs plus World Hockey Championships, at some point, something's got to give. And if he does sign the ELC this summer, he still has to play one more year in Europe due to the contract he just signed, but he could be in training camp this year. And I think we might be in for a shock for just how good he looks come that time. Are we getting another player that looks like a really solid playoff performer? Of course, being able to score close in front of the net, right? Those are the type of goals you get in the playoffs. Those are the type of players we need. Now, let's look at some of our players right now that seem like they'd be really good in the playoffs. I think Yuri Slavkovsky. Oh, yeah. I think Nick Suzuki, Cole Caulfield, showing that they can be electric mm -hmm. in the playoffs. We got Jackeye. Mm -hmm. We got Kapanen. You know, we got Hudson, who's such a competitor. You know, it's like we're get, really getting guys that seem they're ready for the bright lights when it really matters the most and for me that's what's starting to get scary and very exciting about this team it's unbelievable there's so much to look forward to shout out to you oliver cap and then one of the one of the biggest best stories of this tournament and for the Habs prospect system leave some love down below for oliver Kapanen. but for now that'll do it for this episode of habs digest if you enjoyed leave a like comment subscribe to the channel thank you so much for all your support as of late it really means a lot i'm josh goss my co-host jesse poitier we'll catch you in the next one